you know, honeysuckle talc powder. <laughs> Mama used to smell like that. Um, she told me honeysuckle's really a flower, but all I know is that the powder smells like Mama. And sometimes when the missing gets real bad, I, I go to the drugstore and I go to the cosmetics lady and ask her, can I smell it? <laughs> And for those few seconds, Mama's alive again. Some days, like today, and yesterday, and probably tomorrow, that's all that's on my mind. Hair and honeysuckle talc powder. According to National Cancer Institute statistics, cancer takes over 600,000 lives a year. Some of us might feel distant from these statistics, but the reality is that at least half of us here tonight will someday be told, you have cancer. So although we have no control over who cancer will target, we can make the decision to remain informed. Through the woven poetry, Local Motion by Jacqueline Woodson, The Damsel by Amanda Lovelace, and Lightning from a Clear Blue Sky by J.M. Storm. For my grandma and everyone else who has fought or is fighting. <laughs> um, once, when I was little, I was sitting at the window holding my baby sister Lily in my lap, and um, Mama kept saying, don't you drop my baby. And a pigeon came flying over and was looking at us through the ledge. And Lily started doing one of those laughing screams that babies like to do. And Mama came running out of the kitchen. And when she saw us, <sighs> I thought you dropped my baby. <laughs> was I ever your baby? <laughs> you still are. My mom told the doctor that she was seeing starbursts in her eyes and that they were almost beautiful to her. And the doctor hesitated before breaking the news to her. Those aren't stars, it's cancer. And you know, I am sick of everyone telling me how strong I am. Me. Strong? I only act strong because it is the only distraction I have from the thoughts of my inevitable motherless life. And right now, I'm remembering all kinds of good things about her, like the way she would laugh at my jokes even if they were so dumb, and the way she sometimes just grabbed me and hugged me before I had the chance to get away. And it was while we were drinking our usual late night coffee, she turned to me and said that her last dying wish was for me to spread her ashes over the ocean so that she could finally go back home. Minutes before the death call, I smelled her perfume. <laughs> Who will I be without her? How can I be without her? Months after my mom died, I found the book she was reading last with a receipt tucked inside marking her place in. It finally hit me. You will never get to finish this book. You will never get to start or finish another book ever again. 
You will never get to see me graduate from college. You will never meet the love of my life. You will never be there for my wedding. You will never hear these words. And we will never, ever, ever sit on the back porch and swap ghost stories over steaming coffee mugs ever, ever, ever again. And I try. You imagine what you would say to me if, if I told you I haven't been able to laugh in the longest time. Because whenever I do, someone tells me I sound just like you. Maybe. Maybe. Life is about learning a better goodbye. Learning to let go of the ones you love with nothing but love. Wherever you are now, I hope there is a beach. Some days, like today and yesterday, and probably tomorrow. <laughs> that's all that's on my mind. Hair and honeysuckle talc powder.